Good evening and good time of day if you're tuning in from uh, somewhere else in the world. Welcome to um, the Women's uh, Orthodoxy and War Conference uh, organized under the auspices of Coffee with Sister Vasa and the Wheel Journal. Uh, we're going to begin the way that the Orthodox uh, tend to do with singing of the hymn, uh, Today the Grace of the Holy Spirit has brought us together and it is going to be sung in Slavonic. Hello again, um, I'm Inga Leonova. I'm editor-in-chief of The Wheel, the journal on orthodoxy and culture. Uh, first of all, uh, we would like to thank from the bottom of our hearts, our hosts and sponsors, St. Luke's Episcopal Church and Father Jesse Lipus, who has been a great friend of the orthodox community in this area. I would also like to thank the organizers, especially Lena Zizulin, Nicholas Lachevsky and Katie Kalaitis, who did most of the heavy lifting to make this event possible. And Coffee with Sister Vasa of the Wheel and the Zizul and Foreman family for their sponsorship. Let me tell you a little bit about the conference. It has been conceived by Sister Vasa and organized and sponsored mostly, but not exclusively, by Orthodox Christian women and women-led enterprises. The overall topic of the conference focuses on the war in Ukraine and its implications for Orthodox Christianity. The purpose of the conference is to facilitate an honest and respectful discussion on various theological, canonical, church political, and ethical aspects of the war. This war, Russian war against Ukraine, is an unprecedented event in recent history, and it cut across the hearts of millions of people around the globe. As Orthodox Christians, we will try to reflect on what this war that has just passed a 100-day mark means for the future of Orthodox Christianity generally, and for Orthodox Christianity in the United States specifically, and for the lives of Orthodox Christian, Christians everywhere. We would also like to provide all conference participants with a sense of communal shared concern and responsibility for dealing with the present and future implications of the war and all that it has manifested and means for our Orthodox Christian communities. We aim to gather all participants into this shared sense of concern and responsibility or ability to respond, also as lay people in the church, to the challenges posed to the church by the war, despite differences in opinion, church political affiliation, political leanings, and other such divisive realities of our church life. We are keenly aware that there exist significant and perhaps even irreconcilable differences of opinion between us. But we do implore everyone who has gathered together on the eve of the great feast of Pentecost to remember that in spite of those differences, we are all literally part of one body of Christ. We drink and eat from the same chalice, no matter where we are geographically or ideologically. So we hope that however much we disagree, we will keep this in mind and conduct our discussion in the spirit of love and respect. 